Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK on the Gaming Evolved Vanilla with Sprinkle Server. And today, I have the Double Mutation Baryonyx. I finally did it. Now I did this all off camera because I'm, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I have so many Baryonyx, it's actually ridiculous. But I managed to get the Double Mutation. It looks amazing. It really does. Now the blue on the bottom is good, but I'd love that on the top and the orange for it to be on the bottom. But I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm just happy that we got it. So I'm going to try and maybe do a couple more breeds on these guys. But I want you guys to let me know if you know anything about the colors and like um, and the breeding and arc. Can the color region switch? So, you know, like I have the blue on the bottom. If I was to breed like two of the exact same of these together, could they potentially produce a infant with like blue where the orange is and orange where the blue is? Let me know. Let me know because I mean this is really cool looking, but I think it would look a lot better if it was like mostly blue. But uh, yeah, I am super happy with it. Check it out. Okay, well we gotta zoom out here a little bit. <laughs> Looks awesome. Looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, so happy. Now um, I also dyed up the saddle and everything. I actually think I might go with a different shade of orange, and I think. I mean, I like the cyan, but like, there's no like baby blue in Ark, so I might just try the dark blue, see how it looks. If it looks poopy, I can change it up. But uh, obviously, from the colors of this guy, we had to give it a, a portal name. You know, the game Portal. We gave it Glados, <laughs> which is like the villain in Portal and Portal 2, I guess, as well, slightly. Um, so yeah, we we gave it that name, and I think it looks amazing. <laughs> Just that, just that right there when it was looking at us with the sun in the back. Looks awesome. But anyway, this is not what we're doing today. We're going to be doing some other things today. First of all, I want to show you some other stuff like the Baryonyx. But uh, we'll get into what we're doing now in a couple minutes. Um, one thing I want to mention is if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. Actually, you know what? This Baryonyx really matches my eyes. <laughs> oh, we're kind of thirsty here. we got to go grab a drink over here. I thought I did this only a couple more only a couple minutes, blah, blah, I wish I could speak, a couple minutes ago. Um, let's just grab one of these empty, or the full ones even, I can't, I can't think, I just can't. Uh, also, the beer situation, freaking insane so far, we still have more liquid inside of these actually, I gotta empty out these guys, I've actually refilled them completely as well, guess I can just put those in there, no harm done. Um, we have a lot of beer, check that out, we have, that's 121 beer, and I have like, at least five liquid or so in each of these before in that one. Yeah, we have like a bunch of liquid as well. I, I gotta do that in a couple minutes. We'll probably just do that off cam. And then maybe set it up for another go. Um, yeah, Baryonyx everywhere. We have all these Baryonyx out here. I've already actually I gave away a Baryonyx to Neo because he needed a female. Uh, I think we have another over there somewhere. But we have this one right here. Do we have another one out there? No. Um, we have one right there that's like the exact same one. Actually, the one that we have out there is actually a twin. I believe this might be the other one. No, it's not. Okay. No, that's just a random one that I just like. I didn't imprint it because it was really no point at all. Um, I'm just trying to get the colors off of them so I don't need to be wasting kibble. And, uh, and we have this one here. I just got to put all these guys away somewhere for now. Um, and we have all these ones in here. Also... I should probably start talking about some other things here that are kind of cool. Um, but I'll just show you guys these things first. So many Baryonyx. I don't even want to count all of them. There's just, I probably have over 20. We have all these ones in here. And more eggs. Fantastic. You know what? Like, a lot of people were telling me, like, hey, you should get, like, an egg collector mod. I'd love to put that on here, but I'm not sure if that's vanilla, vanilla enough. <laughs> I can't speak at all today, can I? Um, let me know what you guys think about that, because honestly, that would just save all this... Don't hug me like that. That would save all of this pain, like having to go through freaking dinos and stuff. And that gate won't close. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's very vanilla, but at the same time, like, this is vanilla with sprinkles. That would be awesome in actual vanilla, though. Like an egg collector. Oh, my God. I know there's, like, a bunch of different mods, and I've seen some. We have some on the Patreon server. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what your, what your thoughts are about that. Anyway, this is what I wanted to talk about right here. See all these Trudons? These are, this is my Trudon army, okay? We're gonna do something with this pretty soon, don't worry. Um, all these guys are on Wonder. And remember I said before that with this platform here, there's like this weird bug where they don't actually move when they're on Wonder, which is super handy. Um, basically, 
I have all these guys on Wander for a reason. So every single time that I log on, I can come here and potentially get the box of chocolates, <laughs> which is part of the Valentine's event thing because I want to get some of those cool items. Let me just show you this, this stuff over here first. We're probably going to do this on a different episode because I don't have enough. I want to get like all 15 and then I want to do this. Now, I, I believe these things are quite rare, the box of chocolates, but I've got six, I think. Yeah, no, six in total. Um, so we can get a heart emoji thing or emote even emoji. Uh, we can get a, um, a romantic uh, facial hair thing. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then we can get the romantic hair, which is like uh, your hair all slicked back. And I think it's like 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 a Favio, a Favio hair or something like that. I can't, remember, I can't remember what they actually called it. But uh, yeah, I want to get all those because we have a bunch of those in here. And this leads into the next thing. Um, we need to grab this because we're going to be doing that now in a second. Also, I can trick in all these eggs. Um, yeah, we have six of them here in total, and they have a good spoiler on them as well. Because it only said, like, 12 hours in my inventory, and I was getting a little bit worried that I'd have to use them all up beforehand. But luckily, they can go into a fridge. Um, check out all these freaking baryonyx eggs that we have. Let's just fill up that stack. 700, wow, that weighs so much. But, uh, yeah, this is insane. We have so many. <laughs> and I've been breeding up some Rexes as well to try and get some of these. They're actually kind of rare. Um... I think with the first couple breeds on the Trudons, I didn't get any. And then after a while, I started to get a couple here. And uh, yeah, we've, we've got six in total. But now we're going to do the moss chops. i got to go grab some berries first. Actually, I think they eat pretty much anything, but I'm going to go grab berries anyway. Uh, no more Rex eggs. Also, i gotta re re bleh. <laughs> I got to reorganize the, uh, the Rexes. I've got plenty of berries in here. Perfect. Um, uh, moss chops are kind of hungry. I think I need a lot. Okay. Awesome. Any Anki eggs? Oh, we got one. Anki eggs is what I need. That's why I kept these Ankies. Got one over there. Nope. Okay. Over here next. Oh, man. Busy, busy day today. So let's chuck down this egg here. Oh, we got to take off backspace. Okay, so that's incubating pretty quick. We have that timer up really fast because there's no skill involved in watching an egg hatch. Let us go over here. How we doing? Awesome. Um, yeah, so it's it's been pretty busy today, and I've been doing a lot of work off cam, and that's actually something I want to talk about, guys. I've been getting a lot of people, like, questioning why we do so much work off of cam, and I feel like, you know what, we're, you know, it's like more of a conversation, our videos here that we do, and uh, I kind of feel like I could talk about it. A lot of the stuff that goes off cam is just boring. Like... Is that something that you guys want to see? You want to see me, like, run around, do absolutely nothing, struggle to think of cool things to talk about while gathering stone or wood or whatever? I mean, we, yeah, we have lots of that already, and we have quite a lot of metal, but, like, different resources, I guess, like, uh, when we're looking for polymer, like, a full episode where I just gather obsidian, it seems like a couple people are looking for that, and I really don't want to do that because it just seems boring to me, and I don't want to just make boring videos. So I don't know, like, I kind of, I get a lot of questions of like, oh, like, why do you do so much off cam? Like, are you guys all cheating in here? No, nobody cheats, okay? We, we like, we like playing the game, but for videos, it just does not make sense to show absolutely everything, because it would just be, I'd have to cut that into like three videos of me gathering obsidian, and that's boring and pointless, right? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are about that. We got our moss chops. But uh, honestly, I don't really see the point of that type of uh, content. Just making a video where I go around and do time lapse of me gathering obsidian. Boring. Very, very boring to me. Uh, I probably wouldn't watch that, so... I don't know. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just don't get it sometimes when people say that. But uh, let me know. I want to hear what people want to talk about. What people want me to do. Um... He looks really cool, actually. He looks really awesome. I'm not sure what his parents look like. I wonder, I wonder, is he mutated at all? Oh, wow, it looks like... I don't know how he's mutated, but... Because I'm just going to say, I don't I don't even own the parents of this. I just found this egg back at the community, I believe. Or I think we bred up two random ones. But it looks like there's a lot of mutations on there. Holy crap. Um. So how long until care? Nine minutes. Right. Okay. Um... I guess we could just leave him there for a while. Can we chuck him more berries? He's not on follow. He's not on wonder. I think we're good. All right. Let me go show you something here really quick. 
Um, oh man, just running around showing stuff off. It's it's fun. <laughs> uh, so I guess I can grab these out and uh, these. It doesn't actually even eat normal meat. I figured that out actually when we were breeding up all these guys. Luckily that the Baryonyx actually have quite a lot of food when they come out. They seem to come out with like a thousand on here. Um, so like when all those babies hatched up and stuff, like after a couple minutes of me just like waiting there, one of them started to get bloody. So I was like, oh crap, I gotta go grab like fish meat. And I had to go fill up like a, a trough with like fish meat and put some into their inventories and stuff. Um, but I, I honestly thought that they ate normal meat too as like babies, but apparently they don't. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a bit of work actually collecting up some fish meat, but really they don't need it like initially, which is kind of handy. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the mutations. Um, so here you can see the family tree. So like the mutations are pretty much like, it's not seven different mutations. I think that's seven instances of mutations on the paternal side. And then like maternal was only two. Um, and that's because I've pretty much been breeding like the babies that I, I get. I breed them with the parents to keep trying to get this color. And I managed to get it after a while, obviously, as you can see, <laughs> like the parents of this one, they were both the fourth generation on like on both sides which is kind of crazy but yeah we managed to get it next thing i want to show off is over here um so we have the penguin farm up and running kind of but i had to actually put it on a standstill because i i had a bit of an issue where basically i don't know if you can see you've got some people might be able to see there's actually a change in here um let me just move this penguin over here i had to actually put up some glass walls alongside this stuff here because the penguins were getting out they were walking between the beams here <laughs> which really sucked um so as you can see i used the s plus glass walls and i just hit all four sides so like there's one of these like on each side right beside the railing so they can't actually walk out which is super handy <laughs> yeah this is like i didn't even think they could do that and i just found like dead penguins outside it was like what the hell is going on here <laughs> Um, also, I should probably mention that I have not, I have not gotten one penguin that survived. So I don't know. I think it's something we might have, we might have had like food multipliers or something different on the last server. I'm not exactly sure. And like season two. Um, also, this is an insane egg farm in here, but I don't really seem to be able to get them too easily. But uh, yeah, so this is, this is kind of insane. Like, all of them are just dying, which is okay. I mean, that still means polymer. That means the moss chops will eat all of the babies as soon as they come out. So we better put him onto aggressive because none of them are dying. So we're not going to have any stored polymer. So it's a little bit of a change from the last one that we had last season. Let's move you over here. Um, so it's not exactly the same, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It still works out pretty well. So right now, all these guys are actually on a standstill. I put him, I take, I took him off of Wonder because I want them all to breed later um, in the episode when we're actually, when we have the moss chops in here. Because they were just constantly breeding, so it wouldn't have really worked out well for the video. Um, did I hide the sides on that thing? Yeah, I think I did. As you can, it's a little bit obvious sometimes when you're in here with the glass, but I think overall, like, it was better than just changing up the walls completely because I like the natural... Uh, farm like look of this whole place although I guess the glass doors kind of ruined that a little bit so maybe I'll change the glass doors up I don't know um, we got our, our freaking snails in here too I gotta clear out these guys actually we can go do that now can I get off of this please there we go amazing uh, we got all of our sheep in here people been using these to breed and everything completely fine um, it's awesome uh, just we're, we're like the sheep whisperer over here how is the baby doing let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, he's still got plenty of food. He doesn't eat fiber, I don't think. So we're going to take that out of there. I guess we can chuck these eggs in here. Man, just a lot of work to do today. Holy crap. All right. Um, so let's just chuck these dyes back over here. There was another thing that I wanted to show off as well. Oh, actually, no. You know what it was? we got to go and grab our, uh, our freaking snail paste. Uh, so let's grab this. This is a resource puller gun for anybody who doesn't remember. People kind of said, hey, yeah, it seems okay to use this type of thing. I actually really like it. It's super handy for the snail farm. It uh, basically pulls resources from anywhere, like in the in the surrounding area. As you can see as well, we have so much Akatina paste. 
let's go alphabetically so as you can see like pretty much where is it gonna okay it switches to CP around here around like this line here yeah so as you can see we have this much Akachini paste and I've been using a lot of that as well lately because I've had to craft up a couple things like those the glass walls and then some other things as well um, but we're gonna be using a lot of this pretty soon uh, for a little project that maybe this polymer farm might be useful for <laughs> have a think about that we have a lot of really high-end blueprints just uh, think about that there for a second so as you can see this is how that actually works and um, we can just pull it from the uh, the snails and actually let's have a look and see how much um, polymer they have as well they don't have a whole lot that means that they're actually letting it all spoil so we might as well just pull it all out got 90 in there and actually with all that polymer I've been getting from those things I've been making up arrows so we've got like a bunch of arrows in here um, geez oh my god we have a lot of arrows that is over 500 we have yeah we, we have a ton how many do I have in here I need more let me grab these awesome yeah we have like um, 550 in there and then we have over a hundred in our inventory holy crap <laughs> This is insane. Anyway, I think what we're probably gonna do is wait for this guy to need some imprinting. Do a little bit, bit of imprinting on this guy. It's only two minutes from now. But I don't think I can ramble on for much longer. Um, I do have my voice back right now, which is awesome. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I. by the way, I just want all to mention, I didn't do that episode the other day drunk. I think you guys might have misunderstood. I wasn't drunk during the episode. I was drunk the, wait, it wasn't, it was actually the, like that was on Monday when I recorded that right yeah I recorded that on Monday morning I was partying on Saturday <laughs> so I lost my voice for all of Sunday basically but uh, I wasn't drunk during the episode I don't know where that came from <laughs> I kind of found it funny though but uh yeah anyway we'll be back in a minute uh, in about a minute for this for this moss chops so uh yeah see you then okay so we're back and he wants a cuddle give it to him there 19% <laughs> this is a little dense awesome but uh I just noticed something a minute ago when he was inside of there um I thought he was actually missing a toe um as you can see right there that one or like not the toe but the nail it was actually because of the foundations in there so I pulled him out here which is uh, I don't know for a second I was like oh my god could they actually be missing limbs and stuff <laughs> I thought it was amazing but unfortunately I guess also fortunately but also, unfortunately, it would have been cool, but uh, it's good for him that he's not missing a toe. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I think we're probably going to just continue imprinting this guy for a little while here, and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're back, and this thing's fully imprinted now, and uh, it's been a little while because I also realized that, hey, we'd need to give some levels to this thing, so I set up some, or some Lystros here with him. And uh, they're basically just giving him some XP. So he's got a couple levels so far. I've just been leveling some food here. But uh, I think he's probably good to come over now. So I guess we'll get him over there. He's actually pretty quick as well. <laughs> uh, we, we named him Pork Chops. Uh, kind of a tribute to our Moss Chops last season. The very end of last season. Uh, he's coming over now. I also just set all of the penguins so they would start breeding really quick here. So we can get some eggs going. Are we even going to be able to get him through that door? Probably not. So we're going to unfollow, we're going to have to go grab a flyer, and crap, I put my RG into the tower, so we're going to have to head all the way up there. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to fully level his efficiency into the organic polymer harvesting, which should mean that he will harvest a lot more, and actually, thinking of it right now, hmm, no, I was, uh, I was thinking we could test it and see how much more he'll get, but it's by percentage, so I guess we could figure it out that way. Probably should have grabbed a slower RG, actually. No, <laughs> not in there. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not going to work. How am I going to get him out of there now? Oh, crap. Um, I guess I'll have to walk him out. Let's pick these up. Uh, such a pain. I really should have grabbed a slow RG. Come on. Get out of here. No, no. Come out this way. Oh, my mouse is flying all over the place. What the hell? <laughs> okay, you stay there. Let's get these railings back on before these frickin' snails get out. Because they're moving at lightning speed in there. Uh, let's get that up. Ugh. Okay, can't, can't. There we go. 
and then that one. Okay, well, I think I'll just grab a slower RG. Okay, I'll just be back when I chuck him in, maybe. <laughs> God. Okay, I got him in. Ugh, now I'm stuck in the stupid door, and also I have a snail in here. <laughs> it's been a bit of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh, can you move, please? There we go. It's a pity you can't freaking pick up moss chops, that would be really handy. Anyway, what we need to do here really quick is actually level him if fully in, uh, what is it called? Organic polymers, so level that up. There's plenty of penguins here, and we gotta turn him to aggressive as well. Um, so set to aggressive, so now he should start eating all the babies. No, 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 why is everything attacking? No, no, no. Ah! Why did everything attack if it's just him? What? What is- that is the stupidest thing. Eat the babies now! <laughs> Are you kidding? Now, is he not gonna eat them because of that? Oh, that is so stupid. Why? Okay, move, stupid penguin. Over there. Start doing it. No, why are you following me? Ah, oh, he's not gonna eat them now. Crap. Are you kidding? Well, that sucks. Or is he gonna eat them? Is he hungry? He's not hungry. How do I make him hungry? Stimberries. Why did the RG attack if it's just him? I guess they were all on it. Attack my target. Ah, uh, why? Okay, no, I just switched into passive. Never mind. Ah, uh, that's so stupid. I'm annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed here. Stupid. Go. Everything just go on passive. <laughs> why? Uh, that is so stupid. I, I didn't even think that would happen. Now we're in K mode. What? Oh my god. Okay. Over there. Okay. Is he gonna do it on cam? I really hope he will. Because if he doesn't, move. Everybody move. Snail into there. Okay. He's really. He, his tail kind of clips you around. I think I need to make this pen bigger somehow. Alright, well. Now I gotta put him onto. Um, aggressive. So now you should start eating all the babies. Come on, do it on cam for us. Move the other penguins over there. What is he doing? Is he not gonna attack? I was sure that this would work. What does a moss chops on aggressive do? Come on, guy. Come on. I don't want to have to stick something big in here. Can you harvest, please? Over here. Come on. What are you doing? He's running. I don't know why he's running. Okay, now he's eating them. What the hell? Like, what even was that? Okay, let me see. How much polymer did you get from me? One? Really? Can you eat the rest of them, please? Stupid moss chops. Oh, this is so stupid. I need to get something better, and moss chops suck at this. Damn. I honestly thought this this would actually work with a moss chops. Now he's eating them. Like, what the hell? He's only getting a little bit, though. Yeah. I think we need to either level higher in that or get something else, because moss chops does not get me a whole lot. Can you eat him? Yeah, now he's eating them. That's good. That is good. That's what we want. But it's not getting very much. Which is kind of a problem. He's getting a lot of prime though. I mean, that's kind of handy. He is killing as well, which means that he's getting more XP. But at the same time, he's not getting enough for us. We do have 53 more levels left to uh, pump into organic organic polymer. Um, still though, I kind of feel like it might be better if we use something else. And really, I don't really understand as well um, why they're dying this season. Because, like, last season they didn't freaking die. That was the handy part. Can everything just, like, move over there? <laughs> oh, look! Penguin balancing. That is awesome. Oh, here comes another one now. Come on. Go get it. What are you... Why does he run? <laughs> I don't get that, guys. I really don't. Why does a moss chops on aggressive run? Or is he running? He is running. Look, he's running into the wall. He's not clipping on this penguin. He's trying to run away from it. Kill the baby penguin, please. <laughs> Kill this little guy, this innocent little penguin. Yeah, he's killing him now. Awesome. Eat him. No, don't run away. You just killed him and then you run... That does not make any sense at all. Uh, you know what? We're not going to bother cooking that. All right. Well, where did he get these berries from? Okay. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> we just took all this crap away. 
He's eating him now. Okay, we got two from that. That's really not enough, though. I know, obviously, snails are probably the best efficient way to get organic polymer, but this farm is like... It worked a lot better last season when the penguins actually survived because that way uh, we wouldn't have this guy on aggressive and we could just have him attack them. Because I'm pretty sure moss chops do actually attack uh, when you whistle them onto things. So I don't know. Actually, speaking of that, we should probably add him into a group. We need to make sure that he's gonna disable resource harvesting. Is that gonna affect his harvest levels? Probably. I don't. Probably not. I think that's probably just for everything else, like the berries that he picks up. But I'm not exactly sure. We're not gonna mess with that. Um, ignore group whistles. Yes, we want that. We want him to be wandering, I guess. Doesn't really matter. He's in a small pen. And. Enable victim item collection. Yes. Why was that disabled? I don't know why. Uh. Okay, well, I think it's probably mostly set up, but I I think we've done every single penguin so far, so. Looks like we have. Unfortunately, I was thinking I might try and grab some eggs just to have them all going. Like, just to have a bunch of eggs ready and we could just do a bunch of them at the same time. That's another thing. If I can pick up the eggs, I can keep them and uh, use them in the future. But it doesn't seem like he's gathering very much. Now, obviously, if we can level up his stats... And that means that he's going to gather a lot more. But at the same time, though, I really don't think it's that worth... It's worth the effort, really. I don't know. It worked out really well last season. It was really cool last season. And I don't know what the difference is now. Maybe it's because I was in a cold climate, so they eat less. I don't think that's a thing, but it might be. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, that sucks. Well, either way, guys, that is probably going to be it for today. <laughs> kind of a crap show towards the end, but you know what? It's okay. It's all fun. Um, I did enjoy putting together the farm. I'm kind of a little bit disappointed about the moss chop situation, but at the same time, there's probably a chance that it will work. And even if he does gather, like, a little bit, it's going to be more than, like, nothing, you know? It's it's better than nothing, you know? If you gathered eight polymer, fair enough. The snails do it better, but at the same time, it's a cool little original design. And uh, I'm happy with it anyway. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you gotta subscribe, because that's how it works. And uh, I'm working on a bit of a schedule right now for the channel. So, um, you may kind of see less of some things, more of other things. You'll, you'll kind of get the picture pretty soon. I'll probably announce that after the upcoming update, by the way. Because um, we will be covering that, of course. And, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time.